Hello and welcome. We had already calculated the shear forces and we had also plotted the shear force diagram which is in this form. Now, the next question we are going to solve about this beam is to determine the position of the maximum bending moment. Remember, moment is usually maximum when shear force is zero. And when we look at our shear force diagram, you will find that at this point, shear force is zero. And that means that since shear force is zero at this point, then bending moment is maximum there. So if we locate this point on our loaded beam, we are going to draw a line passing through this uh, point of zero shear force and this is going to uh, be uh, dropped like this so this is a line that is passing through zero shear force now how do we locate the position of zero shear force or how do we locate the position of maximum bending moment therefore if we call this point m meaning the maximum bending moment we are going to determine the distance from point d all the way to point m and in this case for us to get this distance we are going to use uh, similarities because we have two right angled triangles here we have triangle one and we have triangle two as well now if i call this point a and that point b this point c that point d and point e using similarity methods i am going to have the height of this triangle one which is a b divided by its base which is a c i equate to the height of this triangle 2 which is d e all over its base which is c to d c to d do i know the distance from a to b yes how it is 99.7 units therefore a to b is 99.7 units all over a to c which i don't know its distance don't know that distance is equal to d to e which in this case is 65.3 units therefore 65 Point three units all over the distance from C to D which again we don't know its value now since we can't work with two unknowns we are going to make um, uh, we are going to write AC in terms of CD how now A to C can be given by the distance from A to D the whole of this distance from A to D which in this case is 5.5 uh, meters therefore 5.5 meters minus the distance from C to D therefore C D now this AC we are going to substitute it at that point which will lead us to 99.7 all over AC which is uh, 5.5 minus CD is equal to 65.3 all over C to D so that's how you're going to act cross multiplication at this point cross multiply uh, this way C and D multiply to 99.7 the other one multiplied by 
So this is going to be 99.7 CD equal to 65.3 into bracket 5.5 minus C to D minus C to D. This is going to be 99.7 CD is equal to now 65.3 times uh, 5.5 that is going to be around uh, 359.15 therefore 359.15 minus 65.3 minus CD I mean uh, times CD that is uh, 65.3 C to D we bring CD in this side of the equal sign which will be 99.7 CD plus 65.3 C to D is equal to 359.15. Now, the sum of these two, that is 99.7 plus 65.3, that is going to give us 165. Therefore, 165 C D is equals uh, 359.15. Five. To get the value of uh, CD, we are going to divide both sides by 165. Therefore, the distance from C to D, when you divide the 359.15, divide it uh, by 165, that is going to give us approximately 2.18 meters. 2.18 meters. Therefore, the distance from uh, D to M is uh, 2.18 meters. So we can say that the position of the maximum bending moment is 2.18 meters from end D. From end D. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, that is how we usually determine the position or that is how we usually locate the position of maximum bending moment. So thank you for watching our video. Remember to subscribe. Goodbye. Meet in the next lesson.